First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, everybody, I want to show you the setup here. We've got a lot of rain on the way. In addition to that, some mountain snow, and it's all because of this area of low pressure right here. This is going to come up our way. Eventually, it goes past us. It's going to grab colder Canadian air. It's going to drag it down. So later on Saturday, it's getting cold in the Adirondacks. Rain is mixing with and changing over to snow, and eventually that snow makes its way into Vermont and northern New Hampshire as well. In the meantime, it is going to be rain certainly in the valley pretty much for the whole time, maybe a couple of snowflakes as we do get into the second half of the weekend. And this thing is going to be hanging around for a while, so a lot of things to watch. So when is it going to snow? Not the beginning of Saturday, a little bit later on, then into Sunday, thinking at the highest of elevations, the high peaks of the Adirondacks, anywhere from three to six inches, certainly less as you come on down, probably slushy kinds of you know wet snow in places like Saranac Lake, Lake Placid get set for that. But eventually up in places like Jay Peak, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if on Sunday we find uh, snow coming down for a good chunk of the day because we're going to have a pretty brisk northwesterly flow here and maybe even into Monday as well. Sometimes with these setups, uh, boy, we get a lot of snow there. So we've got a ton of stuff to watch. Let's key in on what's going on with the water coming out of the clouds. All right, we're talking about rain here with Storm Tracker. We had some rain that was pretty decent, moderate at times down to the south. Bennington checking in with half an inch of rain already, but right now it looks drier as as that moisture has left. We come to the north and it's raining uh, at a pretty good clip right around Newport into Derby. Then we have rain that's quite a bit lighter than that. As you head on over toward Enosburg, you get into Swanton, Alberg, over toward Rouse's Point, and even in the Champlain Valley, yeah, it's a little bit wet, but not that bad. Right along Route 11, it's raining down toward, oh, places like Malone, also into Potsdam and Canton. But here's what you need to know. The setup here well, this stuff is going to be around for a while, and some of it is a little bit volatile. As a matter of fact, as you get into parts of Pennsylvania where you see the pink, severe thunderstorm watches in effect that until 11 o'clock tonight, although I don't think that's going to be an issue for us. It's going to be rain and a lot of it. How much? Watch this. We take you through Friday. Then we get you into Saturday and even into Sunday. Future cast rain. This is a forecast model suggesting maybe over three, four, even five inches of rain for some. Mainly we're talking about northern New York, perhaps the northern Champlain Valley. Farther east and south you go, the less rain we will see. That's what the forecast models are suggesting right now. This could wobble a little bit. But as it stands, that's what we're thinking. And wow, it's going to be interesting to say the least over the next few days. Just be aware, it's going to rain a bunch. 54 degrees in Burlington, 52 Plattsburgh. We do have some 40s on the weather map. Future cast, this is our high resolution model. Watch what happens. We've got showers. This is overnight tonight. Here's that setup where it's very heavy rain as you go west of the Champlain Valley and parts of the northern Champlain Valley too into the beginning of tomorrow. And I think that will continue throughout the day tomorrow. Rain showers tonight, heavier to the west, 54 degrees at your low. For tomorrow, showers off to the east. It is going to be heavier rain to the west, mainly northern New York, perhaps getting into the northern Champlain Valley. Not expecting flooding because it's been so dry around here. Maybe, you know, drainage areas, hard to kind of drain that stuff out with leaves and things, just be aware of that. Farther east you go, the drier and warmer it's going to be tomorrow. 66 tomorrow, rain around on Saturday, Sunday. Also, it's going to be windy. We start to get some snow in the higher elevations later Saturday and into Sunday. That's Vermont and northern New York. Still the chance for showers. On Monday and Tuesday, 47 to 46 degrees. Partly sunny Wednesday, 48. Chance for showers Thursday, high 52.